In case you're wondering why some of the interference patterns you've seen are straight lines and some are concentric circles, it depends on the shape of the aperture you're using. For long, thin slits cut in a card, the pattern is a line of fringes. Since light diffracts outwards around the edges of an aperture, in this case, where the slits are vertical, the light is constricted in the horizontal direction, so the light spreads horizontally to make the fringe pattern that you see. For a round pinhole, the light spreads out in all directions from the circular hole, and so it forms the pattern of concentric rings that you see. There are other uses of interferometry. One of them is called Fourier transform spectroscopy. Now, spectroscopy means characterizing the spectrum of a light source. In other words, finding how much light is emitted at different wavelengths. To do this, you put an interferometer between the source and the detector. As one of the mirrors is moved, different wavelengths are transmitted as they get constructive interference in the forward direction. The light is measured as one of the mirrors is scanned forward, and the resulting information of light intensity for each mirror position must be processed with a computer to get what they want from it, which is the light intensity as a function of wavelength. The algorithm to do this is called a Fourier transform. The example you see at the bottom right is the light emitted from a butane torch that was obtained through Fourier transform spectroscopy.